Hi there guys, welcome to the first episode of Outlast, which is a newly released horror game. It actually got released today, um, this is the first time I'm playing it, this is going to be a blind playthrough. I know next to nothing about this game, apart from um, seeing a trailer. So uh, yeah, let's just get straight into it, shall we? Let's go for a new game. Uh, okay, Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. <laughs> okay, and um, and this is uh, a, a brief sort of blurb about the game. You are Miles Upshaw, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on Earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Sounds pretty freaking good. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. This is actually the first of two new horror games that I'm going to be Let's Playing. Um, this one just got released before the other one. Okay. I got a, a little press badge there, so presumably I have been invited here? Maybe? I don't know. That must be it up there. I can't really turn my, my head left or right very much. Maybe I'm wearing a neck brace. Oh. Radio interference. Pretty standard in horror games. Mount Massive Asylum. Okay, this is it. This is definitely it. <laughs> Although it wouldn't be much of a start to the to the game if I ended up at the wrong place. Okay. There's a little uh, sort of security outpost thing here. Okay. I don't think there's anyone in there though, actually. Oh, what's going on? We're just parking here then. Alright. Oh, a confidential document. Let's have a look then. Okay, it's an email to me about illegal activity at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. And it reads, You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs I am very much breaking right now. But seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt, and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. And that must be the reason I'm here. Nice little backstory there, cool. What are they? Ah, oh, right, I think batteries and a video camera. Now, as far as I know, this video camera is going to play a very big part in this game. Okay, cool. It has a night vision option. Always good. I'm sure I'm going to be needing that. And that's it. That's that's it, apparently. Going to leave the car behind and enter the asylum. Okay, objectives are updated in your reporter's notebook. Contain your notes and documents. Let's give this a go, then. Objective, investigate Mount Massive Asylum. Okay, let's have a look at the notes. There are none. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at the documents. I've only got the one, and it was probably the one I just read. Yeah, whistleblower. Okay. All right. You know, this is reminding me the, the this is reminding me of the start of Scratches quite a lot actually. Let's have a look at this. To start off with a couple of children's drawings on the notice board here. A witch and a pumpkin, and I don't know some apple tree and a. Shadow or a boulder? I don't know. Fucking kids, man. Uh, right. Intro password. Don't know about a password. Let's just get out of here. No. <laughs> I've only been here a minute, and they've already locked me in. I am guessing I can't get out. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, I'm really fucked, aren't I? This is a big place. And it's 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 very very ominous. Go through here. 
To open a door quickly, press left mouse button. To open a door slowly, hold down left mouse button. Let's give that a go. Let's um, let's try and do it slowly. Let's hold it down. Oh, I see. Oh, you grab hold of the door, and then you can push or pull. I like this. Hey, maybe I'll get a chance to uh, to be sneaky. And this pulls out the camcorder. Okay, event recorded. <laughs> what event? Adding a note in your notebook. Let's uh, let's read it. Let's have a look. Mount Massive Asylum, apparently. Let's have a look. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum. Shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out. More like a jammer than a lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Or it might be the story that breaks me. And I think that's more likely, to be honest. Notes are only added to your notebook when your camcorder is raised to record events. Okay, so if I see something that looks interesting, or I see an event occurring, just whip it out. Excellent. Uh, I've got two batteries out of ten, I think. And hang on. Let me just let me just test something. And I only record when I lift the uh, the camcorder up to my face. So you know, if I'm doing this, I'm not recording the floor. Speaking of which, I can see my body. I friggin' love this. I love this in games. Truly, it's amazing. Okay. Uh, so what do I do? Keep this out. Actually, I want to save on the battery, so let's not do that. I guess this place is still inhabited. Yeah, I know about running. I mean, there's lights on everywhere. This place is huge. It really does deserve the name Mount Massive. Um, don't think I'll be getting through here. It looks like it's padlocked, chained up and everything. What about down there? It looks the same, actually. Yeah. All right. Okay, well, maybe I should just use the front door like a normal person. Hang on a minute, though. Uh, this doesn't look like standard issue. There's three of them, wow. Is this how the uh, the people from the asylum are transported? I mean, are, they, are these, like, immensely dangerous people? I don't know. This That looks military to me, but... There's like a modem in that one or something, I don't know. Anyway, forget it. I'm putting this off, but let's enter Mount Massive Asylum. Here I go. Locked. <laughs> okay. I will try and buzz myself in. No, no, can't do it. Can't, can't do it. Uh, hang on. Is it just the left door that's open? Is that right? No. All right, I'm going to have to find myself another way in. Let's try this side. Look at this place. I really hope I get to explore the entire building. That would be great. There is a... Oh, there's a gate. And there is a hole in it as well. It's just sort of been bent out of shape. And I can crouch. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Did you hear that? It sounded like I broke my back just crouching down there. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, I really hope I get to explore this entire place. There's, a, um, there's an open window up there above the scaffolding. Let's try this door, though. Let's try and open it slowly. Doesn't matter, it's locked anyway. Um, I'm, hang on. There's a ladder on that scaffolding. I bet that's my way in up there. So, let's, let's try this. Hang on. With the camcorder active, you can zoom in and out with mouse scroll. Really? Oh, yeah! I like that. Let's have a look. Who's up there? Nobody. Hang on, that window isn't open. It's actually smashed. Nice. Nice. Let's get up there. Presume I can climb this ladder. Let's give it a go. Yep. This must be my way in. It's pretty good so far. 
Jump over a gap. Space bar. Yep, okay. Cool. <laughs> Alright. Transforming into Mirror's Edge now. Which, honestly, I don't mind. Pretty cool. I am in the middle of nowhere, aren't I? I get that feeling. Wow. This is going to be cool. Okay, this is my way in, presumably. And there's the shards of the window. So, hang on. That means somebody smashed it from the inside. Maybe trying to escape. Hmm. Just trying to create a cool backstory. In I go. <laughs> and I'm only in there about a second before I need to use my night vision. Okay. It's F, right? Note that night vision uses battery life. Manage it well. Wow, this is a really cool effect. I mean, this looks really, really good. Is that blood? Floorboard's down there. Might not be blood, I'm sure. Something happened, though. The entire room is trashed. What the hell? <laughs> I really need to use the night vision as well. Can't see anything without it. Okay, um... I think it is just the night vision that, that, that takes the battery out, because I'm holding it like this, I'm recording, and it's not going down. Or maybe the night vision just uses like ten times more of it. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm going to keep this away until I need to use it. I'm entering a lit area, so let's open this door slowly. I really like this feature. Really cool, really cool. A218. A215. Sounds like there's going to be a lot of rooms. And I hope I get to explore them all. I hope I get to go down there at some point. I guess we'll find out eventually. Okay, let's enter A218. Who's this guy? Oh, there's actually... Are there... Is that, like, a crease? Or, like, someone's scratched away at that? I'm not sure. You sneering at. Alright. Let's see. I just want to explore this place. You know. <laughs> Come on. Don't do that game. Don't be cheap. You're better than that. I'm sure, I'm sure you're much better than that. Okay. Is that like some sort of vacuum out of the chimney, or is there something I should be worried about? Probably the latter. Let's, uh, let's go. I'm trying to open these doors slowly so I don't awake the wrong people. Hold on. That, that right there, that is blood. That is definitely blood. I'm not getting an A215, so let's go this way. Just squeeze through, move towards the gap. Okay. Cool. There's a lot more blood than I expected. Oh my god. Handprints? Anything in here? What happened here? Oh, check it out. Footprints. Bloody footprints. I'm going to leave that for a while. Let's, let's explore this room first. Let's have a look. Password. There's a battery here, I think. Yeah, there's a battery. Batteries are used for the infrared light of your camcorder. Yeah, it is just the infrared. You can reload by pressing R. So let's, let's have a look. Hang on. It says, uh... Right, it says 3 of 10. So I have 3, and 10 is the max I can carry. Fair enough. What does it say on... Password. Can I enter a password? What would the password be? A lot of moment. <laughs> What's going on? Where are the letters? Some of the letters are missing. Where's IOP? <laughs> and kill. And mmm. Where have they gone? Never mind. Is that the sound of trees hitting the windows? Cool. I guess let's close this door. <laughs> Slam the door, sorry. And keep going. Um, and enter A214. Let's, let's see what's, what's on the other side of this door. 
I hear a phone. It's a phone off the hook. Ah, and there's a document as well. Let's have a look. It's a confidential document. Okay, so there's another document to read. So, documents. Project will write a patient status report for William Hope. Let's have a look. Okay. Um, it seems to be about a patient, 19 years of age, a male, called Billy. Patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage for hormone schedule. Uh, spir sp <laughs> sorry, spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Um, a hematocrit centrifuge again failed to separate erythrocytes. Highly worrisome. What's really worrisome is I have no idea what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> MRI revealed a rhythmic REM, NREM cycle. Laughter in NREM state. Sounds like this guy might be a psycho. He's in the right place. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff and the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security. Despite, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. What the fuck? No, the only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Okay. That's cool. I like getting more of the backstory. I hope to uh, understand more as the game progresses, if I survive that long. Gonna put the, put the phone back? No? Okay. Q and E to lean. Whee! Okay, okay. There's enough messing around. Now I've got to go towards the footprints. I bet that door's going to close. <laughs> I fucking knew it. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, it's a toilet. He just wants some private time. I'm going to leave him to it, to be honest. What's an A211, then? Oh, shit, look at this! You go up against the wall, you put your hand on it. That's awesome. <gasps> this is like my favourite game technology ever. What the fuck? Why is there blood on the ceiling? And why am I not recording this? This is an event. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit. Who's in that vent? Battery. I see a battery. Picked up a battery. Okay, I think I might be going in that vent. This is too much of a coincidence to just be here, isn't it? Can I have a cola? I want to drink it. Oh, not for that price. Ugh. Uh, can I, uh, can I enter this area? No. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Alright, I'm sort of putting it off, but... I need a Wii. No, I don't. No, I'm really glad about that, actually. I, I, I suddenly decided I don't want to go. I'm going to close that door. <laughs> Slam it. And, um... I think I'm going to enter the vent. Yeah. This seems like a really good idea. Okay. Uh, it's very dark to the right. Let's see. What's at that end? It's just blocked off by the looks of it. Let's uh, go this way instead. Oh, your door's... Oh, hey, hey, oh! Come on, that was an event. I recorded that. Uh, he looked like a patient. And he, he was scared of me, I think. I actually want to go down now. I'm going to take this away. Try not to get dripped on by the blood. Let's see if I can enter the toilet. No, the son of a bitch locked me in. Okay, there is no way back. I'm going through the vent. This is the beginning of the end for me, I feel. Let's keep this out. Doesn't cost my God doesn't cost me any battery life after all. So hey, hey, hang on. There's a guy, there's a guy. You saw that, right? Okay. Okay, what we got here then? 
Blocked off door. What's through here? Floor two. Chapel, recreation hall, a library, and a lobby. Okay. Is that... That's blood. That's... That's an arrow made with blood. This is just the best place in the world, isn't it? What's that? Uh, it's part of the wall that's missing. Okay. More blood over there. I really like this zoom feature, by the way. This is really cool. I actually do feel like I'm investigating something. What is this? What is this? Pro Proclaim? Is that right? Is there something actually written in blood? Proclaim the... Gosp. Gosp. Proclaim the glot. Proclaim? Blah, 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 blah. Proclaim the gospel. Shit. Library. Okay. Let's go slowly again. Oh, it's quite dark in there. So Whoa, you shit! <laughs> what? Ah, oh, shit, man. Oh my god. Fucking hell. Ah, oh, why am I laughing? I shouldn't be laughing. What the hell was that? Let's just... Let's just open it. Oh man, this is dark as shit. What the hell was this? Was that guy hanging by his legs off that? Shit, man. And there's another guy over here just dangling. Yeah, what the hell? Is, is he dead? Oh, yeah. I guess he is. He hasn't got a head. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What is going on here? What is actually going on here? Oh. Go over there. More dead bodies. What the hell have the patients been doing here, man? Whoa. Are these all bodies? These are heads. Oh. They killed us. They got out. The variants. You can't fight them. You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors. Go to security and control. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. I wholeheartedly agree. That guy's dead now, right? Look, look at all these, look at all these fucking heads. Holy shit! What the? This is fucking creepy. This is really fucking creepy. <laughs> Oh, sorry, just having to sit down. Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. I'm freaking the fuck out. Uh, let's just open this. Oh, hang on. Guy. Uh, you know what? Can I close this? There we go. Lock the damn door. Or maybe not. Maybe I should get out. Uh, no, I can't go the way I came. Oh, just listen to the breathing. I am so freaking out right now. Understandably. I'm not sure if there's any sort of penumbra or amnesia thing where if you get too scared you're unable to do certain things or you, you freak out and blurred vision, something like that, you know. Who? Okay, a guy entered this room, A205. We'll come back to that. What's down this corridor? Notice the battery's about to run out. Let's give this uh, reloading thing a go. Yeah, so... that use the battery? Yeah, 3 of 10. It's probably worth me um, waiting until the battery's completely depleted before replacing it. Um, I think I'm going to actually need the night vision to go down here, though. It's quite dark. More toilets! Great. Fantastic. Somebody really had problems in here. Oh, there's something actually in the toilet. Oh, it's a... <laughs> Let me give you a hand. <laughs> oh my god, this place is fucking crazy. Alright, let's put this away for a moment. Uh, where am I? Where did I come through? Right, okay. So I saw the guy running sort of over there. Uh huh. And I suppose I should investigate A205. Let's do that now. I'm going to open the door slowly. I don't want to disturb the guy. I don't know if he's friendly. Never mind, it's locked anyway. <laughs> sort of glad about that, I guess. 
Okay, I'm not going through those two areas. And uh, I'm not getting through the library. I'm going to squeeze through here. Whoa! Whoa! And who are you? 